Hey there, ladies and gents. Ever find yourself walking down the street when all of a sudden you notice some hip male specimen who catches your eye? Could you not help but notice his nonchalant gait, his perfect, unperfect hair, his hello, daddy-o, hey, Joe, what do you know, I'm so much cooler than you attitude? Well, boys and girls, you just spotted the swinging hipster. Ever wonder how this sophisticated individual came to be? Well, now, with just a few simple steps, we'll show you how you, too, can be a swinging hipster. Let's take young Joe here. Joe's an unfortunate. He enjoys playing video games, watching sports, and occasionally throwing around the old pigskin. When Joe walks down the street, no one notices him. That's all about to change, because we're about to turn Joe into a swinging hipster. First, let's start with replacing that old football jersey with a vintage cardigan. Great! Hmm. Now let's switch those boring blue jeans for some stylish, ill-fitting pants. The trick is to make sure they're extra tight in all the wrong places. Perfect. Moving on to footwear. See you later, comfy sneakers. Make way for a pair of urban hiking boots. <laughs> urban hiking. Now that sounds super hip. A swinging hipster wouldn't be caught dead in that baseball cap. Let's replace it with an old winter knit cap. And don't forget to wear it so it just hangs off the back of your head, making it stylishly useless. Now it's time to clean up that facial hair. There you go, hip Zorro. And nothing says I'm hipper than you, like a pair of horn-rimmed Woody Allen specs. Don't worry if you don't need glasses, they're purely functionless. Of course, no hipsters complete without their oversized hipster scarf. They never leave home without it. And don't forget that crappy old coat to match. Add some $80 fingerless hobo gloves and your outfit is complete. Now it's time to choose your I'm socially responsible, useless hipster statement. Every swinging hipster's got one. I make my own butter. Hmm, try it with a Cockney accent. I make my own butter. Oh, that's so Williamsburg, perfect. And of course, you can't be a real hipster without a hipster's favorite drink. PBR. Hey now, no smiling. A real hipster's full of an inner turmoil and always in a bad mood. There you go. And what would a hipster be without a pretentious old book? I don't speak Russian. That's okay. You're not actually gonna read it. It's just gonna make you look smart when you're sitting in an organic coffee shop. And every good hipster has to have a cool hipster sidekick. Hello mate, cheers. All right. I think it's time to take this swinging hipster party to the street. Oi, we can't drink beers in the street, we'll get nicked. A good hipster does what the homeless do, Mr. White, upper middle class. Here's a couple of recycled paper bags. It's all, mate. How about some organic hand-rolled smokes to go with those beers? And of course, what's a hipster's perfect mode of transport? An obsolete fixed gear vintage bicycle. Watch out, drivers and overzealous pedestrians. Another self-righteous bike rider's on the loose. Well, there you have it, ladies and gents. A real swinging hipster. Look at them go! Yes, we do.